in today's video. Yo, people need to know about this one. I use this all the time. My life would be miserable without this shortcut. What's up everybody? My name is Sicky Beats. Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. Today, I wanna share with you guys 10 of my favorite FL Studio shortcuts, both some basic ones, some advanced ones. When I tell you what these shortcuts are, you're gonna wonder how you went throughout life not knowing that these existed. Some of them you know, some of them are gonna make your head spin a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Let, let's let's get into the video. Let's, let's get into the video. Oh, by the way, that wallpaper. Look at look at this wallpaper, dude. You know, I and it's so clean. This is this is called Wallpaper Engine. It's on the Steam Store and. Um, makes your desktop look pretty cool. Anyways, let's talk about these shortcuts. These are gonna be a little quick fire, so here we go. Basic shortcut number one, renaming your patterns. To rename pattern clips, you hit F2, a menu will pop up, type in the name of your pattern. Cool, that's our pattern name. Next, we're gonna rename some channel rack stuff. So we're gonna drag in an 808 from Astro 808. Oh my God. God. Let's say you got an 808 that you want to rename because Siki's gone haywire with the organization again. We're going to shift click on the channel rack. Menu comes up. Type in the name 808. There you go. Now no one needs to know that you've been using some saucy 808s. To rename the mixture track, you go over to your mixture track, hit F2, call it 808. There you go. Dunzos. This one's pretty straightforward. If you are trying to play just what's on your channel rack versus what you play in your pattern clips, you might go over here and change this from pattern to song. You can do this by hitting the key L on your keyboards. But now I want to show you the whole pattern, the arrangement of that pattern, hit L. It's simple, but you need to know that sometimes you want to change the tool from the pencil tool to a razor tool. You could hit the shortcut, which is C to bring up that razor tool, which is great. But if you don't know that you want to switch between the other tools, you can actually right click and then use your scroll wheel to switch between the different tools on your screen. Let's say you want to mute a track. You can right click and you can change just to the mute tool, which is this here. And you can just click, click, click that, that, that. Makes no sense to mute all these randomly, but okay. Muting MIDI notes is another common thing you might want to do. To do that, take your mouse, double right click and hold on that second click, scrub over them and there you go. Unmute them, same thing, double click, hold, go over the notes that you want to unmute and now they are unmute. The shortcut that you can use to unmute and mute specific notes is by hitting control shift and selecting the notes. The shift allows you to select additional notes so we can do this and then clicking alt M to mute those. And now you can see they're grayed out in order to unmute them, control shift to select those unmuted notes and then clicking shift alt M to unmute. I personally just use the, the right click. It's just faster than to select notes unless it's like a maze to get to some of the notes. So pretty simple, right? I was supposed to go to the gym. Hmm. Control gym. Nice. God, I need a shower. Control S. Okay, much better. Okay, I need to change out of these clothes. Got my wallet. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V. Now, if life was really that simple, we would all be billionaires right now. Am I right? But I think I have something that's going to make your life a little more perfect with one less click. The homie Larry on Inside Audio sponsored this video and sent over their brand new FL Studio mouse pad, which contains a bunch of shortcuts for FL Studio. Don't worry if you use a different DAW, they've got one for Ableton, Logic Pro X, Pro Tools, and with the offer that they're currently running, which is buy one, get one free, you can get one for the DAW that you like to use and the second mouse pad can be the musical scales option. One thing that music production school taught me is that the faster you are at the software that you use, the faster you can get your ideas down. Not to mention it is cool as fuck to be a ninja with the DAW that you use. If you're interested in becoming a ninja or a wizard with the DAW that you're using, check out the link in the description so that you can step your game up. Now let me show you some more of these shortcuts. The next one I use a lot. Zooming into your session is a pretty common thing you'll do when you're making beats. So how you do this horizontally is by hitting control, scroll wheel up to zoom in, scroll wheel down, zoom out. In order to zoom vertically, you hit Alt, scroll wheel up, scroll wheel down. Makes sense? And if you want to move around your clips or if you want to move around your arrangement, hit Shift and right click and drag however you want to zoom and move around your session. Good things. So I got a beat here. Let me play it for you before I show you the tip.
we got some hi-hats. I want to randomize the panning and a little bit of the velocity for the hi-hats here. This is just a pattern by itself. I'll play it in the background while I talk over it. We hit Alt-R. Alt-R randomizes any one of these parameters from the panning, the velocity, the release time, the filter, the filter's resonance, the pitch of it. Watch this. Pan it all over my head. What I like to do is randomize the panning on a more complicated hi-hat pattern and turn up the pitch just a tiny bit and randomize the velocity ever so slightly, but I wanna hit do not reset before process. My pattern already has some velocity stuff happening. I just wanna add a little bit of random. Then we hit accept and here's what we got. A little bit around the sides. The next one is something similar, but let's say you wanna make your piano sound a little bit more natural instead of having all your notes flat. We wanna randomize these notes, so we're gonna hit Alt R. Menu will come up with the settings from our last time we used it. We'll click reset, turn off pattern, turn on levels, and we're not gonna to touch the panning because when you're using a plugin from a third party, it's not gonna do the automatic panning, but if you use a native plugin in FL Studio, you can do some pitch randomization, panning randomization for like FL keys. But in this case, we're gonna turn up the velocity just slightly like this. Too much. Next one, this one is one of my favorite ones to make your melody sound a little bit more natural to what a piano player might do. Shift M is something that I use a lot and I use this to randomly select notes and then move them just slightly out of time. And then I hit Shift M again to select another random set of notes. While holding Shift, I pull the scroll wheel back, just one click, do it again. And now all the notes are slightly off the beat, which creates a little bit more of a natural playing. And we can make it extreme by clicking Shift M, scroll two, Shift M, scroll two. It just adds a sense of realism because we don't always hit the notes exactly on the beat. Randomly selecting and shifting those at a time is dope. And you can use this method on hi-hats as well. Shift M, select some random hi-hat, pull it back just a little bit. Don't do it a lot, because then it just really drifts off, but here it is on hi-hats. Fire. Next one is to move MIDI or audio within a clip. This is what that kind of looks like. You hit S on your keyboard and now you can slide the MIDI within your pattern. Very cool if you want to scrub through and kind of find the best takes. Really good when you're using audio like this one here. So what we're going to do is click C, make a chop right there, S, and now move the clip right into time. We can add some more here. You can time this up, line that up, see, delete it, move quickly, and then slide between, find a different phrase. It's a little trick that I use all the time to quickly move with two, between all this stuff and moving quickly is important. The next one is what I use when I want to take an audio file or a MIDI pattern and turn it into an audio file. Let's say I'm happy with the performance of this. I'm gonna select my regions by control selecting and then clicking control alt C. And then menu will come up, click start. Your audio is now turned into a full consolidated file. You want to turn this MIDI pattern with all the effects on it and turn it into audio to save your CPU. Control Alt C, hit enter. Now your whole pattern is now turned into an audio file. Let's say you have two MIDI clips where you've done two different performances, but you want to get one good performance, essentially comping. What you can do is you can take the best parts that you like. Maybe you like these parts at random and you think, I like this part here and I like this part here and I like this part here. And then you say, okay, I don't want to be moving random regions around. Select your clip, Control G, turns it into a grouped MIDI pattern. Don't worry, your initial pattern is still there all by itself, but now you have a merged pattern with all your notes. That's pretty cool. Randomness, cool, good things. I think these are some really cool shortcuts. Now, I really want to hear from you guys some cool shortcuts that I've might have missed that you think, yo, people need to know about this one. I use this all the time. My life would be miserable without this shortcut. Maybe. I mean,
Before you leave the video, let me know what your guys' favorite FL Studio shortcut is that you think more people need to know about. And I'm gonna pick a random person to win a free copy of Pandora Experience. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. If you like more videos like this, subscribe, and I will see you guys in that next video. Peace. Go, yeah, yeah. I have been on my reason we in